Hi guys, I'm here in the hangar and I have the flight yokes up on the bench because I had to remove them to make a modification um, to the height of this column. I had uh, made a, a, an error in my subfloor calculations to actually yield a three inch difference and the yokes were too high, couldn't see the instruments very well. Um, and so I was really frustrated with them and ended up pulling them out of the cockpit and fixing some things up. But before we get into that, um, what are flight yokes? Well, the yokes are used to control the uh, pitch and the roll of the aircraft. The pitch is the meaning the airplane, airplane's nose going up or the nose going down. When you push on these yokes, what it does is it controls the elevators which are in the back of those little wings at the back of the plane and when you push down like that what it does is it lowers the elevators which gives the, those little wings a little more of a camber and a camber is a curve which causes them to lift up higher when they're in the airflow it makes, makes them lift up so the plane will pitch down and conversely when you pull on the yoke the plane will pitch up because the um, elevators go the opposite way and cause less lift and then cause the tail to drop and cause the, uh, the, the um, nose to pitch up. And the roll axis, which causes the plane to bank from left to right, and that is done by modifying the shape of the wing using the ailerons. And the ailerons are on the edges of the wings and one goes up and one goes down and does the same thing. It causes more lift on one wing and less lift on the other and causes the plane to turn either direction depending on what you're doing here. So the reason why we have dual yokes is because they're connected for the captain and the first officer or two pilots in whatever plane you're in. Um, and the, the, the information, this rotational information has to be translated all the way down the shaft across and back up to this yoke because you, should, you have to be able to control them exactly the same. So I, uh, I had sort of come up with this design myself. Um, by no means is this a good, great design. There are much better designs out there. Um, uh, you can ask some of the great simulator guys out there. Um, I built this because buying a system like this is upwards of eight to ten thousand dollars, and I think I spent probably about seven or eight hundred dollars um, using um, parts from Princess Auto, and uh, I carved these myself, and I saved a lot of money but they uh, they do the trick and the way they work is they're using aluminum shafts that are going through these angled gears and these shafts translate the information so when you turn here that rotation rotates all the way around and translates back up this shaft over here one little catch though in the middle here there is a bevel gear and the bevel gear what it does is it switches the do direction of rotation because otherwise as i learned the hard way um, this yoke, this uh, steering, I would turn this way and that yoke would be exactly the opposite, which of course is not the way a real yoke works. Um, and they are uh, returned to center by using little shock absorbers, uh, little pneumatic shock absorbers. And the same thing here, if you can see, these are the shocks that keep the, uh, keep the pitch axis in an upright position. So every time anything turns in this, uh, this system, they are controlling little potentiometers. Those potentiometers translate that rotational information um, to the joystick board. And that information goes via USB to the computer in which X-Plane will then um, listen to the yokes and say, oh, he wants me to go this way, he wants to go up, down. And basically, this is just a big, elaborate joystick. That's all it is. It's just a big, elaborate joystick. And uh, these buttons are all wired in the same way. All these um, come to the joystick board. And, um, and they do the trick. So um, they haven't fallen apart yet and uh, taken me on many flights. So um, if you have any further questions about them, please let me know. And um, I can uh, answer them for you and uh, have a look at uh, other uh, sites as well. Um, just search up Boeing 737 Simulator and you can see some wonderful designs by, by others um, and uh, some, some really amazing products out there as well that hopefully one day I'll get to, uh, I'll get to see. Um, so thanks for watching and I hope you learned something about uh, um, Boeing 737 home-built yokes.